Hello everybody, Skyrain here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. Alright, so here we go. Um, not sure if anybody else has noticed this yet or not. Probably so, but uh, I'm still putting it out there. I can't exactly give the precise numbers. You will see them on the screen whenever they pop up. But what am I talking about? Well, first and foremost, I'm standing in front of the fractured plane, so that's what we're going over again. Um... I'm not really a fan, obviously, of this mode so much, depending on... Like, this week for Wizard, I thought it was going to be pretty rough. Turns out, this is not so bad. As long as... Uh, it helps when you get um, some blessings uh, throughout the run that help increase your attack speed. Because you're mostly going to be doing primary attack damage. And um, you're, you're mostly going to be using your primary attack for doing most of the damage in this run. With these skills. Um, they give you an increase speed of 50% at the start and sometimes you'll get blessed with say flurry flurry is very nice but um, let's see what else and then sometimes I got lucky in this previous run uh, do I still have I still have an image up but I'm not gonna try to put that on the screen I did manage to get it done in um, oh, 18 minutes actually 17 minutes 49 seconds I have a little snapshot um, snippet of it but, um, but anyway, that's just why I'm about ready to claim my rewards from it. Now, the whole reason I waited to do this so I can get it on recording is I've done a couple more runs. Like, a couple more than I normally would. Um, I did the two runs, and this is when I started to notice it after the second run. Uh, let me see. When you have to do 24 levels. So when you do two full runs, you finish it completely, pretty much. And you're then you're done with all this stuff. However, um... This runs through the 16th, so I say take advantage of this as much as you can. Uh, they have gameplay modifiers, yes. But the real key to this, finally getting to the point here. Um, actually, it's not too bad considering two minutes in. Um, the XP gain. You won't be able to see it very well once I go and collect the chests on this screen because see, it, it kind of darkens it. But you will see it kind of go up in a little in little bits. Now, you also see, and you can pause the video, um, whenever I claim these chests right here. There you go. That one's 36487 experience. And I got a uh, legendary. Um, I don't know if you're able to see this change and not over the top of that. If I get a legendary out of a chest, sometimes it makes it hard to see this go up. But pay attention to the red bar, experience bar at the bottom, because this is, I think, um unaffected by your debuff I think you just get flat experience which is why this is kind of if you want to start pushing harder granted yeah these runs take about you know anywhere between 18 let's just run it up 18 minutes to say I don't know 25 anywhere between 18 and 25 minutes so somewhere in between there usually about an average of 20 minutes uh, to finish a run so keep that in mind. So it's going to take you 20 minutes to do this. But at the end, you get experience chest. And they increase uh, to the top one. The next one here. Watch. Try and see if you can watch this. I'm going to try as well. But there it goes. That was a pretty good size. And here's the experience. 48,649. And one more time. Uh, watch this again. We're already into the next segment. You can make that out in your screen. I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to see because it's, you know... Obviously grayed out, but... Nope, oh, got another legendary, and it went up... Um... Considerable amount. Oh, and I completely forgot to see what that said. It was like... I think it's like 59,000 or something like that for the experience off of the last chest. So... With that in mind... I was getting very close um, last night in doing the second run, and then I did some random dungeons, and then I was trying to gauge... Because random dungeons usually run you about, you know, five minutes a piece, uh, you know, or give or take. A little bit over, a little bit less. Well, no, a little, usually a little bit over maybe than five minutes, depending on which one you get. So I was like, all right, so that would be like four random dungeon runs per se, you know, to try to see how that would work. However, that one's harder to gauge because you're getting experience gradually throughout the whole run. But the dungeon experience, you are also getting while you're in there is affected by your debuff. So right now I'm at 10% um, XP gain. Re you know, I'm, all, I'm reduced all the way down to 10%. Obviously. Then some are going to be even at 
Some, I don't know, it might even be a zero. I don't think zero is a thing. I think 5% is where it stops. But, yeah, so keep that in mind. And I just thought, well, you know, I do need to run the dungeons. I do I do the runs for the dungeons to get my daily gems, the 12 out of the way for party. Um, so I get the, the normal gems, 12 normal gems. Once I, I run, sometimes it goes quick, and other times it seems like it takes forever. Um, so there's that. And then I also run it, obviously, for the wisps. That I need a ton of still. I'm I'm built up a substantial stash now. I'm pretty can, happy with it up to this point. But I would like to you know get closer to you know 300 mark. I'm a ways off from that, unfortunately, at the rate it's going uh, before I reach 1200. So that way, because I'm going to need to be crafting a lot. Um, the the gear that's been dropping so far for me has been really exactly rolling very well on the set items. And most times, if you want specific ones, you're just going to end up having to craft them and you know. Burn your wisps that way anyway. Um, I'm saving other things for experience um, pushes here. I'm saving now this one I just got for this week. I should have been saving them earlier, but I am now saving my Moonlight Flora until um, reset to pop it and run the thing. Turn that one in. I don't know if I'll have enough for two runs or not, but I'm waiting for uh, reset to do that one. Um, let's see what else. And I finally recently did this. Uh, like I said, I'm in no real rush, which is why I didn't do that this whole entire time. But I saved some of my uh, assembly rewards as well in my mail, which I will claim probably uh, at reset on Monday. Um, so I'll claim these. And why on Monday? Because, you know, that's when we get the next server increase on our stuff. Okay, here we go. I got some more stuff here. I got that out of the way. Got these out of the way. Okay. Oh, there's that. I got... Wow, there's no stopping that one once I claimed it. I could have waited, I suppose, but whatever. I'll take it anyway. I'll grab that too. Um, but as far in my activities, of course, some people have saved up, like, their entire battle pass, which is crazy. I can't sit, uh, sit on it for that long. I usually just wait until uh, one week's worth, which is what all this is right now. I got one week's worth of stuff to claim out of here, and then I'm going to do that tomorrow, or, uh, well, Monday, which is tomorrow by this recording. Uh, Monday reset as well, so I'll claim this. And also because this battle pass in particular will end in three days. So we're getting close to another battle pass reset anyway, and at that point it's just claim, 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 all the way until you, right before you, uh, your last log before reset for the battle pass. So all those things to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, try it out. See if uh, see if you notice it. See if you like it. Actually, it all depends on what you got going on for your fracture plan and how much time you want to set aside. Like I said, it's a 20-minute run on average, you know. So keep that in mind. But you're getting what seems to be unaffected experience gains along the way. So it might be kind of worth it if you want to push the levels harder um, when your experience is, you know, diminished like it is. Um, I might hit it even harder, actually, say, when we get after reset. But right now, I'm definitely noticing it, so that's why it kind of stood out more so than anything else. I noticed it because you don't actually get experience in Fractured Plane until you claim these chests after it's all said and done. So maybe that's why it shows up in, like, these nice chunks, so to speak. But anyway, there you guys go. I thought I'd throw it out there. Um, take it for what it is. Um... It might help increase the levels faster. It might not. I'm not sure. Um, and obviously, we're going to see a lot more experience gain on it come, you know, after reset. So, because then we'll get the server Paragon bumped up another 10 levels. Where are we at right now? We are at one 1180. So, it'll be 1190 um, at reset next. So, then maybe that's the best time to really hit the Fracture Plane hard at the very first day. I don't know. Anyway. There you guys go. Thought I'd throw that out there as a little thing. Let me see if I can exit. I can exit the door. Hey, it bugged out me uh, last night where I did fractured plane. I literally had an invisible barrier keeping me locked in here. I had to teleport through it to get out of it. And then I couldn't get back in the same way. It bugged out. It was kind of stupid. But anyway, stay safe out there as always, everybody. Thank you for watching as always. And catch you in the next one. See ya.